Hello, everybody. I am the director of success, Chris Riccone, here on autoforge.net in this beautiful, well-loved TRX, but the leather is needing a little bit of help. So we're going to go ahead and use our Dr. Beasley's Fine Leather Cleanser, Opti Leather Cleanser, and finally, Leather Lock to protect. So when you want to clean your interior seats, of course, the very first thing you're going to, want to do is remove any loose debris. So we have thoroughly vacuumed this seat, including all the crevices and everything out to make sure, again, we've removed that loose debris before we get into treating it with chemicals. Now to show you guys the kind of progress that we are doing here, I'm going to lay down a tape line here so we can get a real read on the 50-50 look of all the oils and all the contaminants that we are going to pull out of this leather. Let's get our tape line down here. There we go. You can tell, I mean, look at all the oils and everything. Look how shiny this leather is. That's not how it came out of the factory, folks. And that's what we want to turn back the clock to that factory look. So here's where we're going to start with our fine leather cleanser. This is Dr. Beasley's General Leather Cleaner. So this is something you can spray and wipe, or you can spray it in your towel and wipe off depending on where uh, and how you're using it. Now, one thing that we have to be concerned with, specifically with this TRX, is we do have Alcantara inserts. So we want to be aware of that. So um, what we're going to do is kind of spray around those areas. I can take my brush. Now we have fairly contaminated surface here, lots of body oils and other things. So I am going to take my brush here and agitate the surface. to make sure we can get all that contamination off the surface. Go ahead and wipe up any residue here. And again, look at this, folks. Look at the type of dirt and filth that we're pulling up off the surface. And again, I want to address these upper areas. So these I'm going to do by hand, because again, I do not want to saturate the Alcantara. So I'm going to just go ahead and right into my microfiber towel and right over the surface here now i am still seeing i'm very happy with our results here i'm still seeing some oils and stuff in, in front here on this front piece here so i'm going to go ahead and come back multiple applications that's all right again it's about doing no harm to the substrate so if we have to come back with multiple applications that is something that i am not worried about because if I can just come back with a second application that's much safer and better for the substrate than necessarily coming back with a more aggressive chemical. Pull off the tape line. Now, I'm not seeing any stubborn contaminants, no stains, nothing super crusty. So I don't see any reason to go to an Opti leather cleanser. So I'm pretty happy with our results here. So let's go ahead and pull up this tape line. And so you guys can really see how we went from shiny, greasy, oily and we have turned back the clock to reveal that original factory finish, matte finish leather, how it left the Dodge factory, how Mopar truly intended. So now we've seen our 50-50. I'm going to go ahead and finish cleaning the seat. So then we can follow with our protection step. Okay, so now that we have completely cleaned our seat and we are as close to our virgin substrate, in this case, leather, as possible. Now we will follow with our protection step, and that is going to be our leather lock. This is a very DIY friendly, also good for the pros because it's a very quick to apply. It has a service life up to one year. Of course, it depends. Driver seat, passenger seat, back seat. How is it used? How is it prepped? How is it maintained? But generally, this is something you're going to want to apply, you know, every, you know, six months to a year. And you're going to get wonderful hydrophobicity as well as contaminants. So, pretty simple application, folks. I'm going to go ahead and spread it out nice and evenly with our microfiber. So make sure you got it down in all these crevices. Let it dwell for a few minutes and then come back with a clean wipe to buff off any residual product and then move on to the next area. After a minute or two, I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of come in and remove any residual product. 
And now we have a nice, clean, and protected TRX seat. So now we have a beautiful OEM finish on our TRX here. Uh, we have uh, clen cleansed it and protected it. Very simple to use products that are available at autoforge.net. So we did start with our Dr. Beasley's fine leather cleanser to get us back to that OEM finish to you know, hit that proverbial reset button. And then we followed it up with a protection step with leather lock. Now by using these products, we have now extended the life of this material so the owner can continue to enjoy his TRX for many years to come. Of course, you can find these and many other Dr. Beasley's products at autoforge.net. Do remember to go ahead and hit that like button. And while you're going ahead and hitting that like button, always, you know, tickle that notification bell. So that way you can be notified every time Autoforge posts a new video on their YouTube page. Thank you so much for everyone for watching. Have a great day.